So this is the what I call the dumpster treasure because it's kind of like this board that my friend gave me and it was in his garage and I believe it's like five six and the width is probably like nineteen and three quarters, probably borderlining twenty and the thickness is probably like two and a half. Rides kind of retro and it's either like a double barrel or it's really flat on the bottom and this board is like perfect for T Street. I'm gonna do cuts Gary. So my friend dug this up in his garage and he doesn't really surf so he just like gave it to me to use and it turned out that I think this is actually an Oliver which is cool because I ride for them if you didn't know Eric Mitchell probably shaped this and I don't know what the exact dims are because it's spray painted black but yeah no I pictured this board riding in like T Street conditions and it didn't disappoint like we went on the worst day we could possibly go and this board performed in minimal conditions like literally I don't even think it was waves breaking it was like so flat and this thing was actually carving and it was going vertical and I think I did the air on it too even the first time I brought it out I brought it out to like mid sized creek and it was hugging the curve of the waves so perfectly and the thing that I think is dope about this board is the fact that like if you're like the average kind of surfer and you're getting like a new user, or you're getting like a used surfboard as your first board, like this is probably what you have. So the fact that I'm able to have fun on it means you're probably on a good board. Like you should keep going the same route because this thing like produces so much speed off of nothing and it's so much fun. And I mean, literally this is something that my friend dug up in his garage and it shouldn't even perform. So it's sick.